This is the Ballon d'Or, an award only given to the best players. Like Lionel Messi, who's won A, making him the greatest in history. And my name is Kylian Mbappe, and I have never won a Ballon d'Or. But today, that is going to change, as I'm going to win 9 Ballon d'Ors and become the greatest player of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the round of 16 of the Champions League. Today we have the second leg between Bayern Munich and PSG. Bayern Munich currently lead 1-0. Can PSG turn it around and advance through to the quarterfinals? Now we have Kimmich lining up with the corner. He whips the ball in. It's a head-on and it's finished at the far post. Bayern Munich take the lead. What a great goal. And now on the attack once more, Bayern Munich with the ball, it's played into the striker, he turns it back and finishes it, what a great finish, that is 3-0 on aggregate, PSG 2-0 down on the night, and I think this is curtains for Paris Saint-Germain. Dang man, I just can't win the UCL. If I don't win any Champions Leagues, can I even become the greatest of all time? Maybe I just have to leave PSG. Hey brother, I was thinking. I think it's time I left Paris. I can't become the GOAT here. I want you to come with me, Ethan. I see your goal, brother, but I wish to stay here. I want to try and make a name for myself here at PSG, but I wish you the best of luck. Here we go. Real Madrid have finally done it. They have brought in Kylian Mbappe. Kylian, what are your goals here at Real Madrid? My goals are simple. I want to become the greatest player of all time. I will win nine Ballon d'Ors and cement myself at the top of world football. And I also want to help my dream club, Real Madrid, win every trophy possible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special La Liga evening. We have Real Madrid and tonight we have the debut of Kylian Mbappe. What can we expect from this future great of the game? And now we have on the ball Kylian Mbappe in the box with a brilliant turn. He puts it top corner. Kylian Mbappe, welcome to Madrid. Mbappe through on goal once more. He has only the keeper to beat and he does. Kylian Mbappe puts it away. That's two goals for Madrid and two goals for Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe once more is through one on one with the keeper. Left foot strike. Fantastic goal. And that's the hat trick. Ball played in wide and it cuts back to Mbappe who finishes the ball. What a great goal. Killing Mbappe with four goals so far on his debut. Mbappe once more with the ball. This man's unstoppable and he once again puts the ball in the net. Five goals in his debut. Killing Mbappe take a bow. What an incredible debut. Kylian Mbappe picks up his first match ball in Spain and it is very much deserved. Five goals in six attempts on his first game in Madrid. What a player. Okay, last game of the season. One point ahead of Barca. Madrid derby up next. I will win this game and win the league title. Kylian, it is time for you to exercise our philosophy. Here at Madrid, every first teamer mentors two youngsters. Meet Bern Altman and Lon Giverti. You will be transforming them into amazing players. Sounds good, boss. So, boys, what are your goals as footballers? I'm here to play as many games as possible. Rest is for the week. I'm going to be the greatest. I want to have a long career, try not to get injured, and try to become the greatest player I can be. Sounds good. I'll get you there. Welcome to the last game of this La Liga campaign. We have the Madrid derby. Real Madrid take on Atletico Madrid. Kylian Mbappe looks to take centre stage once more. And we have two youngsters in Bern Altman and Longiverte on the bench. Will they feature today? And straight away Madrid are on the attack. We have Kylian Mbappe in the box. Puts it across the keeper. Fantastic finish. Exactly what we expect from Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe wants more, he comes in from wide, he's put inside, outside of the foot, and a lovely finish once more, Kylian Mbappe puts Real Madrid two goals in front. And now we have Antoine Griezmann, he's got the ball in the Real Madrid area, and he puts it away. Atletico Madrid are not out of this yet, 2-1, Antoine Griezmann pulls a goal back. And now we have Atletico on the attack once more, Morata puts the ball top corner, wonderful finish, and it is game on. Real Madrid 2, Atletico Madrid 2. We now have a substitution with Ben Altman and Longiverte coming onto the pitch. Can these two youngsters be the difference in this game? 
Will they help Real Madrid grab this victory? Madrid on the attack once more. This could be it. Mbappe into Ben Altman. And it's a fantastic goal. Ben Altman scores. What is certainly the winner in this game? Will Ben Altman have just won the league for Real Madrid? <laughs> I'll be better than you. And yes, that is the final whistle. Real Madrid, in a very tight game, have edged out Atletico Madrid 3-2 as they lift the La Liga trophy and become champions of Spain once more. A fantastic first half from Kylian Mbappe and a brilliant cameo from Ben Altman. Unlucky. As Mbappe took Real to a league title, he still couldn't win his first Ballon d'Or as Haaland takes it from him. 25 and no Ballon d'Ors to his name. He has to really shock the world if he wants to be the greatest player of all time. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't win the Ballon d'Or. I must win the Champions League and maybe, just maybe, I can win my first Ballon d'Or. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Champions League. Today we have a semi-final between Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain. Who will come out victorious? Can Mbappe get one over on his former club? Now we have Ben Altman on the ball. Mbappe's free in space, but Ben Altman puts the ball over the bar. Mbappe looks furious. On the ball in the box, Kylian Mbappe, he has the ball, takes a shot and blazes it over the bar. Mbappe, lovely bit of skill. He has the option of Altman. Will he take it? No, Kylian Mbappe loses the ball. Dembele on the ball. He has Ethan Mbappe to his left. Will he take the option? He does, and Ethan Mbappe puts the ball away. 1-0 to PSG, and it's Kylian Mbappe's brother who has put his team behind. PSG on the attack once more as it's squared across. Pulled back to Ethan Mbappe, and he puts the ball away. That's two goals for Ethan Mbappe, and he is outshining his brother here today. Ethan Mbappe has the ball. Can he take his hack? Yes, he does. Ethan Mbappe with the hat trick for PSG. 3 0 PSG, 3 goals for Ethan Mbappe. Surely this is the end of Real Madrid's Champions League campaign. The ref blows the whistle as Ethan Mbappe collects the match ball. What a fantastic performance from Kylian Mbappe's brother. Hey, brother, good game. Hey, Burn, why won't you pass to me? Because you won't pass to me! You're so selfish, man. We are a team. Hey, you guys are teammates and adults. We are a team. Y'all need to stop being competitive. There is a mountain to climb for Real Madrid. It's the second leg against PSG. Will Kylian Mbappe and Real Madrid be able to pull it together? Will they be able to work together to overcome this PSG side? Now we have Real Madrid in the box. Ben Altman puts the ball in the back of the net. That's a fantastic finish. And could there be a lifeline for Real Madrid in this game? Ben Altman has the ball once more. He carries it into the box and he bends it. Puts it past the keeper. Ben Altman, 2 0 Real Madrid. The comeback could be on. Real Madrid now. We have Kylian Mbappe. He's on the ball. And what a finish, Kylian. That is a brilliant goal. Kylian Mbappe on his left foot. Puts the ball in the far corner. Madrid now level. Can they get the winner? Kylian Mbappe, what a goal! An acrobatic volley to make it 4 0. As things stand, it's Real Madrid going through. And that is the final whistle. Real Madrid are the victors. After losing 3 0 in the first leg, most thought there was no chance for Real Madrid. Kylian Mbappe and Ben Altman had different plans. Hey guys, see what happens when we play as a team? We are here, it is the final of the Champions League and it is a place that many thought Madrid would not find themselves this year but after a stunning comeback in the semis we have Real Madrid taking on Bayern Munich Longer Verte plays the ball out wide to Bayern Altman with a lovely bit of skill and a horrific finish A poor take from Bayern Altman who had better options Mbappe with the ball once more, drives into the Bayern Munich box and loses the ball. Munich on the ball as they try to take advantage and yet Bayern Munich take the lead. What a finish and that is 1-0 advantage to Bayern Munich in this final. Will Madrid be able to find a way back? Can they start playing together to overcome this Bayern Munich side? And there is no time. Real Madrid have lost this Champions League final. 
the failure of Mbappe and Ben Altman being able to play together once more has cost Real Madrid. Will they be able to sort out whatever the issue is between them? Or will this issue continue? As we watch Bayern Munich lift the Champions League trophy as Mbappe watches on at what could have been. It's time for the World Cup as Real Madrid stars Mbappe, Gaverti and Altman will be re representing their countries. Interesting to see that Mbappe was asked to be rested heavily during the club season, while Altman played every single minute of football at Real Madrid. Bern, how do you feel considering your now rival is rested up? It's simple, he just isn't competitive enough, he doesn't want it enough. He can go ahead and rest all he wants. I will work every day and I will be better than he will ever be. Hey Lon, I'm getting sick and tired of Burn, man. Hey man, don't listen to him, it's important to get rest. You can get injured. Nah, screw that. I will not rest. I will not rest because I will be better than Burn. International football at its best. This is the World Cup final. This is Mbappe versus Bern Altman. Which of these teammates will be the victor on the international stage? Ethan Mbappe plays a long ball over the top, which his brother Killian takes down, plays it into the box and puts the ball in the bottom corner. Great play from Ethan and Killian Mbappe linking up for that goal. And Kylian Mbappe now presses on, passes it to Ethan, back to Kylian, and brilliant finish! Kylian Mbappe, two goals, and France are looking dangerous today. Germany now with a rare foray into the France half, and can they do something with this? Yes! Germany have pulled the goal back through Leroy Sané. Ethan Mbappe carries the ball in wide, plays the ball across, and Kylian Mbappe with his hat-trick puts the ball away and surely puts this final beyond Germany's reach. That is the final whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, Kylian Mbappe, Ethan Mbappe and Brandt are world champions. And as Brandt lifts the World Cup, we have to admire the masterclass from both of the Mbappes. Hey man, you're a great player. Let's... Let's just end this beef. No chance. This is not over. Oh, I can't believe these guys. They need to grow up. Holy macaroni. Kylian Mbappe has won the Ballon d'Or for the first time in his career. He still has a long way to go to become the greatest of all time. In other news, as after a fallout that has been building up for years, the problem of Mbappe and Bern continues as Bern has signed for FC Barcelona. Curious to see how the rest of their careers play out. Man, I, I've struggled these past two group games, and now if we don't win this game against Germany, we are knocked out of the World Cup. I, I gotta do better. I have won two trebles. I need to show Bern and the world that I can be the GOATS. This is the final group game of the World Cup. France take on Germany, the victor will advance to the knockout stages. Will France be able to overcome Germany or will Bern Altman be the deciding factor in this crucial international game? Ethan Mbappe takes the ball and plays it into Kylian Mbappe who puts it away. What a finish, Kylian Mbappe puts France in the lead. Mbappe with the ball, he's through one on one with the keeper and he puts the ball away. That is 2-0, France on the stroke of half time, double their lead and take control of this game. Germany now on the attack, can they pull one back? And yes, that is a fantastic goal from Ben Altman. He's put Germany right back in this. Germany wants more, Ben Altman on the ball. What can he do? He puts it in the top corner. What a fantastic finish from this incredible talent. Now with Mbappe on the ball, Ben Altman goes right through the back of him. That is one of the most horrific challenges I've ever seen. As Ben Altman seems to taunt Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? I injured you! <laughs> Kylian Mbappe has gone off injured, so up steps his brother Ethan to take this crucial penalty. This could decide the match. Ethan Mbappe! And he blazes it over the bar. This is bad news for France. And now Germany. Ben Altman has the ball and puts it in the back of the net. That will be the winner for Germany and that will send France home. Ben Altman with his hat-trick has sent France 
unpacking. The final whistle blows as Ben Altman collects his match ball and we have to think what would have been had Kylian Mbappe not gone off injured. Hey man, I'm sorry about what happened, but I hope you realize that you need to rest. If you had rested more, you could have been out there winning the World Cup. No, there is no chance. I will recover and I will not rest. Another twist in the tale. In a great World Cup final, we saw Mbappe get injured, Bern tease him, Germany win the World Cup, and now I am happy to announce that Bern has won his first Ballon d'Or. Maybe he's right. Working every day does work. Okay, I'm back in time for the first UCL game. Bern has been playing well. The only way I can outshine him this season is by breaking records. I have 123 UCL goals in my career. If I can score 18 goals, I will be the all-time UCL goal scorer, passing my idol. Well, 17 is the record in one season. I guess I'm gonna have to score 18 and break that record too. Surely, I will win the Ballon d'Or that way. Deja vu. After an amazing record-breaking season three years ago, becoming the UCL all-time top scorer, Mbappe now has seven Ballon d'Ors to his tally going into this World Cup final. However, Mbappe faces Bern and Germany who have had an amazing World Cup and Bern has been the second best player in the world. Will Bern win his second or will Mbappe tie the greatest of all time, Lionel Messi with his eighth Ballon d'Or? Welcome to the World Cup final, Germany versus France. We have not only a brilliant World Cup final, but a decider for the Ballon d'Or. If Germany win, Ben Altman is the favorite to win the Ballon d'Or. If France managed to take the World Cup, then Kylian Mbappe could be on for his eighth Ballon d'Or and tie himself as the greatest of all time with Lionel Messi. Who will come out on top in this crucial World Cup final? Mbappe now carries the ball into the box with a brilliant finish. Kylian Mbappe, that's 1 0 to France. Ethan Mbappe with a brilliant ball through to Kylian, who's 1 on 1 with the keeper. Puts it past him. That's 2 0. That is Kylian Mbappe all over. We are back in the same position France found themselves four years ago. Mbappe with the ball once more. He has a brilliant strike at the front post, and that is his hat trick. Mbappe with the ball and Ben Altman has gone straight through the back of him in a despicable repeat of the scenes from four years ago. And once again, Kylian Mbappe leaves the pitch injured. Germany on the attack now with a wonderful whip ball. Altman blazes it over the bar. Germany and Altman now one on one with the goalkeeper and the keeper makes the save. Germany now and Ben Altman at distance takes it on the volley and puts it over the bar. Now Germany pressing once more. It's all Germany at this point and it's a brilliant goal. That is a fantastic finish and that is 3 1. Germany now press the advantage once more as they have numbers in the France box and that's 3 2. Germany are on for the comeback. With 12 minutes to go, can they do it? Germany still pressing France. It's all Germany at this point. And that's the third. Three all. Germany and France are level. And the way things are going, surely the momentum is with Germany. Germany now in the dying moments of the game. Can they finish this? It's 4 3. What an incredible comeback from the Germans. On the stroke of full time, they score a fourth and put this game out of sight. The ref blows the whistle and confirms Germany as world champions. However, as Germany lift that trophy, we have to ask who is most likely to win the Ballon d'Or. Though Ben Altman wins the World Cup, he had an appalling game, whereas Kylian Mbappe, before being taken off injured, was playing incredibly. News, news, news. After a historic final, we had hat-tricks, injuries, comebacks, Germany are World Cup winners, and it seems like Bern is the favorite to win the Ballon d'Or. But I would like to announce that your winner of the Ballon d'Or is... Kylian Mbappe! He ties Messi. He is tied for the greatest of all time. After a dead performance from Bern, can Mbappe now win his ninth next season and become the greatest of all time? Hey Mbappe, congrats on your 8th Ballon d'Or, man. Wait, are you okay, man? No, I'm not okay. 
the injury, it's... it's bad. The doctor said there's a huge chance I've played my last game. I want to take this time to apologize. You were right. I spent all this time wanting to be the best and be better than Burn instead of taking care of myself. Having the best career isn't about being the best, playing the most games, or being better than one player. The best career is being able to call it quits when I choose to and having the longest career possible because we love this game. But I'm burnt out and now it's all over. Hey man, stay positive. There's a high chance your career is done, but there's always that one chance that it's not. And no need to apologize. All that matters is that you learned and that you take care of yourself, man. Let's pray and hope that you can get back in a year or two. Talk soon, man. He's back. Mbappe is cleared to play football once again as he was injured for the past year. But Mbappe, you're 38 years old. Surely you're calling it quits anyways. No chance. I set a goal and that was to become the greatest of all time. And that's what I must do. Bern has won the last two Ballon d'Ors, so there's only one way I can win my ninth Ballon d'Or. I will win every trophy this season, if not more than Bern. And the greatest of all time will be Kylian Mbappe. Beautiful words, Kylian. But Bern, how do you feel about this? <laughs> this guy is delusional. He's an old man. I would never and will never get burnt out or injured. I'm different. He can say what he wants, but I will win my fourth Ballon d'Or at the end of the season. The Champions League final, where the greatest players are crowned. Will Mbappe be able to use today to cap off an incredible campaign and give himself the best opportunity of winning his ninth and record-breaking Ballon d'Or? Madrid starts off looking hungry with Mbappe in the box. He chips the keeper. What a finish. Kylian Mbappe, at the age of 38, looks as good as ever. Mbappe carries the ball, brilliant control, turns inside, little bit of skill and a lovely finish into the far post. What a great goal from Kylian Mbappe, who is on fire tonight. Barcelona now with the ball, they press the advantage, turns inside and that's a great goal. And that comes from Ben Altman, the Ballon d'Or rival of Kylian Mbappe. Barcelona and Ben Altman now pressing the ball once more as he carries it in and out to defenders and puts it across the keeper. Two goals apiece for Ben Altman and Kylian Mbappe and this game is tied at 2 all. Who will come out on top? Ben Altman is down on the floor and looks to have picked up a serious injury. And yes, he will be replaced. And that is the end of his Champions League final. And wait, Kylian Mbappe is also being replaced as he looks to be exhausted. And will this play out when it comes to deciding who wins the Ballon d'Or? Now we have Madrid on the attack. In the last few minutes of the game, it's Real Madrid. It's Longeverde and he puts the ball away. That's the win. That's the goal from Longevete to give Real Madrid the Champions League. And Kylian Mbappe's friend and teammate may just have handed him his ninth Ballon d'Or. The referee blows the whistle and the final is over. Real Madrid are European champions. Kylian Mbappe is a European champion and could possibly be the winner of a record-breaking ninth Ballon d'Or. And as Real Madrid lift that trophy, we have one thing left to wonder. Will Kylian Mbappe win his ninth and record-breaking Ballon d'Or? Here we go. It's time to announce the Ballon d'Or winner. Will it be Bern or will it be Kylian Mbappe? And the winner is... Kylian Mbappe! He is the greatest of all time! 